Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks, and we won't be doing any boat building today. Instead, I'll be reviewing this Class 2 e-bike from Himaway. It's called the Himaway Zebra. Like any bike you might order online, the Himaway arrives needing some assembly. I was pleased to find that the bike was well packaged, everything was secured inside with zip ties and padding, it made for a nice experience as a first introduction to the company. Inside the box contained Himaway's Class 2 e-bike, the Zebra. Also included, nicely secure in the box, was a 3 amp charger for the battery, a multi-tool for roadside repair, and complete instructions. I was very impressed with the instruction booklet. It was in full color, the diagrams were accurate, and the descriptions matched what I was looking at inside the box and on the bike. As far as assembly goes, it was a fairly straightforward process. I did not encounter any problems and I had it together in about an hour. Now you could assemble this entire bike with the included multi-tool, but I chose to use my own tools. Once assembly was complete, I took it out for a quick shakedown ride just to make sure everything was together right, but then I had to wait for warmer temperatures to really put her through her paces. Eventually spring had sprung and I was able to take out the Himaway Zebra out on the road and the trails to see how she performed. So let's talk about what the Zebra has to offer. Now this e-bike has a 750 watt geared hub motor that powers this bike. Now since she's a class two, there's a throttle control so you can have pedal assist, meaning that as you pedal, the motor will apply additional force to make riding easier. Or you can just sit in the saddle, apply the throttle, and the bike will propel itself on its own. Under ideal conditions with the operator pedaling along, you could have a range of up to 80 miles. 
or if you just choose to sit in the saddle and apply the throttle, you can reach top speeds up to 25 miles an hour. Now the heart of any e-bike is the battery, and I'm very happy that Hemway chose to go with a name brand manufacturer to provide their batteries for their e-bikes. And coupled with the Zebra, you'll find either an LG battery or a Samsung. And these are 48 volt, 20 amp hour batteries. And being that they're made by a quality manufacturer, I know that they'll be safe. As far as the bike itself, it's very robust. Now this can be a good thing and a bad thing. Weighing it at 79 pounds, the bike certainly isn't light, but all that mass helps for a very smooth ride when you're out on the road. Now the frame is made out of 6061 aluminum and will support riders up to 400 pounds. As you might expect from an e-bike, the Zebra comes with a multifunction LCD display and that will show you your pedal assist level, the odometer, speedometer, a watt meter, your battery capacity, and it's USB rechargeable. And finally, the thing that most people want to know about before buying an e-bike, how does it handle the hills? Well, I went out and found the steepest hill I could find coming in at nearly 45 degrees. I set the Zebra up into fifth gear, the maximum amount of pedal assist, and it went up that hill without any problem at all. I was very impressed. Well, I'm pretty impressed with this Himaway Zebra and I'm really happy that I got an opportunity to try it out. And I brought out this bike because this is my personal bike that I purchased two years ago, just for comparison's sake. And two years ago, this bike was $4,000. Right now, the Zebra is listed for $19.99. And if you check the description of this video, you'll see a discount code that you can use to save $150 on one or $350 on two. Now that's a limited time thing, so please uh, make sure that you check the description of this video for the instructions there but as the average rider I don't necessarily know if I see the value in spending two thousand additional dollars on a bike like this yes the components are a little bit nicer it's lighter weight but this zebra checks a lot of boxes being that it's a class 2 the quality of the build the trip computer there's a lot of nice features here that for the average rider to pick up and just go for a casual ride or use it to run to the grocery store or around town in an urban area, it does a lot of those things really, really well. And for a longer range riding, you know, maybe this is a, a little bit easier just for the weight savings, but you know, I'm generally out riding 15, 25 miles for pleasure or a little bit of exercise, and this does that job really really well so it's really quite impressive what they've managed to package at this price point so i hope that you'll continue to do some additional research and check out more reviews don't just make your purchase based off uh, one review that you see here but i really really do like this bike and i'm really happy that i got the opportunity to try it out and i'm even happier that i get to keep it so your job is what it always is like subscribe and share i'll see you next time